Hey guys, it's Hypercube, and today I will be showing you how to solve the 2x2 two two using the Ortega method. And before I get going on the method, uh, I just want to ask you to like and subscribe uh, to my channel. Uh, I want to see if I can get like 20 likes on this video. That would be, be awesome. Um, I'm currently trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. The Ortega method is broken down into three different steps. So, the first step would be to get the first side, and the side colors do not matter. Second step would be to solve the opposite side, so the yellow side. And then the third step is to solve the rest of the cube. Alright, so let's scramble this up. So it doesn't matter what color you start on, uh, I'll start on white just to make it easier. Um, so there's a bunch of ways to get the first side and mainly it's going to be intuitive. So um, mainly you can try and figure out how to get like the white side on your own. But say I have like these two and I have this piece right here. I can take this piece out and then insert it like this and then all I have left is this one which I can insert like that and there's a few different tricks if you know how to solve the uh, 3 by 3 it's the same method as getting like the first side so again, the first side is pretty intuitive, so um, if you need help on it, just leave a comment down below, but it should be pretty intuitive. So the second step for the Ortega method is called OLL, so orienting the last layer. And this would be similar to on a 3x3 when you would have the yellow cross and you would be orienting the rest of the corners. You could think of it as the same way for two by two, just imagine the, cro the yellow cross is always solved, so it's only the corners. So there are seven different cases that you could run into with all the white on the bottom, and you're just trying to solve the yellow on top. So there would be seven different cases. Uh, I don't expect like a beginner to the method to instantly learn all seven so there's only one that you really need which is called soon so at this stage you want to look at the top layer which is the direct opposite side from the white so this will be the yellow layer once you solve it and you want to look how many yellow stickers are on top right now so in my case I have two so if you have two no matter how they are positioned you want to look at the ones that are not flipped right and you want to find one that is in the on the front side and that's in like the front left so you put one in the front left and then you do the soon algorithm which goes like this so now I look on the top layer I know I have one which you place this one uh, begin on the top you put it in like the left corner and then you do that soon algorithm again and then if that didn't solve it you simply do it again so you put it in the front left corner do the algorithm again and that's how you get the top layer but if you have no yellow stickers on top what you do is you find one on the sides and you put it on like the left side the one closest to you so put this yellow sticker right here and it doesn't matter which one it is 
um, you want to just use the same algorithm, so the soon algorithm. And then so now you have this case. And then it'll solve the top layer. If you want to learn all seven cases, I will show them uh, pretty quick. So I will put the algorithm on the screen. So for this case, it's just a regular soon algorithm. For this case, this is the anti-soon. So you have this one, but the front sticker is over here. I'll solve it. If you have this case, two on top, and then two on the sides, on opposite sides, you do this. In this case, there's two diagonal on top, and then the two are positioned like this. Do this algorithm. In this case, you have none on top, you have like a bar right here, and then these two are on opposite sides. So you hold it with the bar on the left, and you do this algorithm. And this one, uh, you have the bar on the top, and then the bar on the side. And then the last case is when you have none on top and you have two bars on opposite sides. And it goes like this. So now that you have the first side and then the top side, the last step is called PBL, which stands for permuting both layers. So this case, is when you have the bottom side solved and then you have two colors matching in a bar and the other two are not matching so this one would be similar to the J perm or the T perm you could use either algorithm but I will show the J perm because it's shorter so it goes like this you hold the bar on the left this case which on the bottom you have two in a bar and then on the top side is completely solved so there's actually not a different algorithm uh, you would just flip the cube over and now it's the same case as the first one and then this case would be the bottom side solved and then no colors are matching on the top so it doesn't matter where you hold it um, and you do this algorithm You could also have this case where you have on the bottom none, no colors are matching, no colors are matching, and then on the top you have the sides solved. So again, like the other case, you just flip it around, use the same algorithm as the second one. So then on to the other cases. So looking at the bottom layer, you have two colors in a bar, and then the other ones are not matching. And then on the top side, you also have two in a bar. So you're going to line up the two bars, no matter how, which color they are. And you want to do this algorithm. And then B2. And then realign the top layer. So this case, you could look at it either way. So you could look at it from this side so on the bottom side you have no colors matching and the top side you have a bar or 
you could have it. The bottom side has a bar, and then the top side has none. It's You could use the same algorithm, you just would have to turn it so the bar is on the top. This algorithm. So the last case is when there are no bars anywhere. And what you need to do is you need to orient, you know, like turn the last layer. So then there's like a bunch of bars everywhere, like columns everywhere. So this is actually the easiest case. Uh, the algorithm is only six moves and it goes like this. It doesn't matter where, where you hold it, it'll always work. And that's it, it's super fast. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. I reply to comments all the time and pretty quickly. Um, so check that out, and I hope you have a good day.